Hi there, this is Fenwa. I am Lobst. And I'm Kiski. And welcome back to Red Steel, part 3-3, in the name of the Father. <sighs> oh, this is intense. This is like, this is, uh, the final confrontation. No, no, this is the final-ish confrontation on Scott Sun's Odyssey. This is the part where we, we collect our fiancé, this Katana Giri. Up next, the Shadow Fortress. Gotta go in there all sneaky like. His right arm stability is incredible when he throws stuff. His right arm stability is as steady as your right arm is when you're throwing stuff with the uh, nunchuck. Which is to say, I found out I can just hit B and do it instead. Haha. <laughs> Man, that's the way it should be. Button presses. Yeah. What, what happened to those? So few games have crate jumping anymore. It's kind of a shame. Yeah, and this isn't the first time this game is added either. It's just sort of a oh, another phone call. Damn, I think they spotted me. No, it's okay. Listen, Scott, I managed to escape, but there's no way I can do anything alone. I'm hiding in the garden near an old altar. Meet me there. Hurry, Scott. Get after me. Try to get your combat multiplier even higher. <laughs> Ninjas! Oh god. So, New wave ninjas. I know that I was talking in the last video about how amazing the scar is. What I failed to realize is that uh, the dot and where the front of like the gun model are pointing aren't like the same place. Yeah. So it's actually like the gun gets in your way when you're trying to zoom in with it. Oh, red seal, no falling damage. Oh. It's because they weren't expecting you to. Jump what just ever. happened with the music? Something really, really, really fucked up just happened with the music. Yeah, something terrible happened. Oh, phone call. Scott, they've spotted me. I mean, the old altar at the back of the garden. I don't have much time. Well, the game is supposed to have like these musical cues where it, you know, starts playing a certain track at a certain time. But I think by this point in the game, they'd stopped like checking, so you'll get musical cues for no reason. Or, like, you won't get a musical cue where there really should have been one. It's because they didn't expect you to play this far. I and really no want to shoot one of those guys as they're going down, but if I do that, then the level literally does not continue. Like, you'll go here and nothing happens. My apologies. I don't think I can make it. Take the path through the cemetery and go to the main temple. S save the Sunrock! Save the... what? Yeah, after oh, okay. several re-recordings, I realized that that was the cause, was that I was, like, uh, incorrectly incapacitating those people. You rebel, you. You were, um... Don't you understand you were supposed to not shoot at the guys with guns that were going to kill you? No, I have to use them as cover. You're playing a first-person negotiator. There they are again. Ah. Let's use this guy's cover. The Red Steel OST featuring fucked up geishas. It's like watching Evangelion but without... Or listening to it, I guess. You are using him as cover, huh? Yep. He doesn't mind. Yeah, he's just gonna watch that tree for a while. <laughs> the Yakuza no, no, had to bring out their special squad. He's your buddy Superfly. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> and you can't leave without him. That's really frustrating that you can't aim all like change your field of view while you're doing that. Yeah, it zooms you out when you're doing it too. So if you had your sights on someone and then you focus, then you lose it. God damn it. 
Well, that's just another thing for them to fix in Red Steel, too. Please, like, stop reminding me that they're making a sequel. The amount of the amount of polish that they're going to have to put into... Well, okay, the amount of, like, playable gameplay mechanics they're going to put in... Never save you a friend, America, Jim. My god, it's Danny DeVito. <laughs> they're going to have to put into Red Steel 2 to make it playable is going to be, like, a change in the same magnitude as Guitar Hero 2 to Guitar Hero 1. <laughs> Except Let me just point out, this has a 7 out of 10 on Metacritic from users, so... What? Apparently someone liked it. No, it's going to be like the change from Daikatana to Half-Life 2. Oh, shit. <sighs> Except it, it only results in a competent first-person shooter. Man, or you go a level without but... sword kills and your arm gets really pent up. But, like, mediocre. Okay, now I have to do a stealth mission. Just watch their pattern. Oh. A surveillance camera. I think Lob's dropped. Who do you think Tokai-san would start up first? I bet on the woman. No way. Oh, hi there. Yes. You pigs spent years going old and fat as I worked to achieve this. You will find yourself alone. You will lose all support from... Silence! Pigs don't talk. They squeal. me, I'm dreaming. Could I just once trust my men to kill one gaijin when I ask? <laughs> no. Obviously, I must do everything myself. Very well. I will take your head myself, and then get back to serious matters. That guy's pissed that his shirt's missing. God damn it. Alright. Make the shirtless just... man submit. I just gotta... What are you waiting for? Yeah, they bring back the resist bar from Geisha Dreams. Great. So this guy's unarmored, clearly. So I don't know why, like, I start trying to slash at him and realize that it's completely ineffectual because you gotta get the stupid bar down first. So what you do in this game is slice razor. I mean, it, you slice some um, laser lines in the in the air, and that somehow hurts people. Yeah, because we're in an anime. Are there any other strikes that give you respect, or is it just the the innovative double swing downward? Oh, all of the uh, the sword fighting moves give you respect. Um, it's just that you are not bad for a westerner. But do you think I'm just an ambitious chimpira? I am the only true nobility here. My father founded this clan with a sato. Look at my chest. The sword and I are one. It is mine by right, and so is the clan. The double swing one's the only one that you can do reliably. Ah, uh, this guy talks a lot. 
Okay, too easy. Uh, oh. uh, you think that during one of these speeches, Scott's son would um would uh punctuate it with a thrust into the stomach or something like that. He's got the same set of taunts as uh as Blondie and the other big bosses that we fought, but it seems like they actually had HBO record the same lines. Uh, like that, just a hit. Something like you dare steal my presence that will cost you your life. How can you fight for the Sanrokai? Those greedy pigs plotted against my father to take his power. They had him executed with his own sword. Yes, the katana giri. Honor required that I would avenge my father and kill his murderers with the very same blade they use on him. I will do this, and a new era will begin for the clan. My father's name will finally be redeemed. Whenever these, I mean, whenever dialogue scenes occur that focus on like the drama between Yakuza clans, it makes me think of a. This is reminding me a lot of the fight between Raiden and Solidus on top of uh, Federal Hall. <laughs> no, that fight was awesome. What? Damn you! So you think it all ends here? Take the sword if you want. You know I can get it whenever I want to. As long as I have your girlfriend. The game isn't over. Oh, oh right, we have a girlfriend. Oh wait, what the? Oh god, damn it! I'm pretty sure having the katana giri is uh, a little bit cooler than having the girlfriend to save. Wait a second, what? I hold on, guy. Hi. Don't stand, you ninja. To... You have to fight me now. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> Anyway, whenever people talk about the drama between Yakuza clan in this game, it feels like a Star Trek episode where they focus on Klingon drama. And my eyes just sort of glaze over. So how much is the fighting like, I don't know, punch out? <laughs> I, t I still prefer the rock, paper, scissors uh, analogy. Because it was best out of 30 and sometimes the guy's hand cramps up. <laughs> Actually, though, I totally didn't mention, going into this video, I did some off-camera sword training, and, uh, due to my respect level, my, um, sword slashes now do, like, plus 50% damage, whatever that means. Huh. So, I guess it's worse, it's better than it could have been. I don't really think that makes it the sword fighting elements go, on, go along quicker. Yeah, that's a plus and in my book. And thus the game itself go along quicker. Actually, come to think of it, you had to spend that time in training. Oh well. Red Steel is like a uh, a series of sword fights bookended by these things that you do with guns and walking around. Oh yeah. It's a sword fighting game featuring first person shooter elements. Which is the stronger component? A right arm simulator with dinosaur hunting elements. This one looks. <laughs> <laughs> that fellow looks very relaxed. Just one corridor before the next sword fight. He didn't introduce himself because it would just come out sounding like this. Yeah. What's he gonna say? I'm a ninja. You never get the sword to come out. You think I get the katana skater Sam? Oh, we got the girlfriend locked up. You've earned this ninja's respect. Why you want it? Well, I got his props. Oh yeah. To him, you ain't frontin'. <laughs> what is that guy doing with the table? Red Steel is a game of subtlety.
So this one I'm starting to get deja vu and I'm wondering if like the checkpoint system messed up somehow. It's like that part in The Legend of Zelda where if you keep going the wrong direction on that mountain, it just goes on forever. Uh. Except least that game is fun. Of course. Well, no, no, that was uh, that was like a clever design element that you had to navigate your way through. This is um, this is just programmers, not programmers, like level design people deciding to put the same room in a level twice. Are you saying that someone involved with the making of Red Steel was lazy? What? I like the gong noise, by the way. Props to you, my friend. Another ninja. Oh. Got close to this girl, Mariko, didn't you? A mistake, but I will bring you closer to her, because you're about to die just like she did. I'm like you. I have no name. You should turn up the treble on his voice. Poison sword, eh? Okay. Poison swords are weaker than other swords. Oh. Damn it, Fisher, what are you doing? That's it. The mission's over. We're pulling you that out. Got close to this girl, Mariko, didn't you? A mistake, but I will bring you closer to her. Because you're about to die just like she did. This is like total bullshit. Yeah, all you have to do is do that once, and... Yeah, this this right here is why Splinter Cell, uh, was, uh, delayed so much. <laughs> God. BRB dudes in Japan. Real ninjas don't need poison swords. Real ninjas just, just need their bare... Honestly, not their bare hands, just their bare fingertips. But then again, that's me going into the ninja trope, and I'm... That's a dark place. You're getting corrected on your ninja ology. Yeah, I know. That was embarrassing. Oh well. I'm no expert. This guy has a tiny sword. That's what she said. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oh shit. Fade to black. Oh god. We are once again in your depths, God sir. We owe you our lives. Never did I suspect Tokai's origin, and I can understand how his filial respect would drive his thirst for vengeance. However, Tokai's father deserved his punishment. Even he knew this before he died. Now, you should go and find Otori. Yes, I know now he is involved. He has carried the weight of this tragedy for far too long. He also deserved the resolution of his burden. Now, he should face Tokai one last time with you by his side. Confronting him is the only way to save Miyu and put an end to this chaos. Me? Who? What? By the way, I'm digging the, uh, the Sanro Kai guy in the wheelchair. He's like the vid kid of this, uh, mob gang. <sighs> That, that guy was like the jolliest Japanese man uh, in existence. <laughs> the four of them need you, Scotchison. Red Seal.